I'm talking a bit about the studio. Um, it's mainly a quick update of uh, what happened last year and um, what are our plans for this year. Um, um, main thing we did last year was um, accessibility for OpenCast Studio. Um, we implemented um, keyboard navigation so you can um, tap through uh, 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 yeah, Studio. Um, all elements should be accessible by now and um, hopeful. I hope we have a clear focus order. We have a clear focus border so you always know where you are at the moment. Um, and in addition to the keyboard navigation, we now have uh, shortcuts. So um, there's no need uh, for um, using a mouse. Um, you can start a recording with shortcuts and keyboard navigation and you can edit and upload the video. And um, yeah, these are our current um, shortcuts we have. Um, yeah, we have that mode. Um, it's on the settings page. You can uh, choose between dark mode, light mode, or system uh, mode. Um, yeah, yeah, on the settings page. This is also the new settings page. Um, looked a bit different um, before. We have uh, tooltips improved. Um, we used TPJS for React. So the tooltip text is selectable and accessible for screen readers. Um, they are customizable, um, like the color, the delay, um, enter delay and div delay, um, also positions and uh, more. Yeah, these are the um, tooltips for, for dark mode and light mode. Yeah, other improvements we did, uh, Lucas did um, a huge clean up, um, especially uh, we now use TypeScript. Um, the, the main reason is I think that's easier to review um, and uh, it's a bit more like um, the editor. Um, some code was uh, removed, um, some code was rewritten and uh, we did some smaller updates. Um, a lot of small updates, then I don't uh, tell everything about it. Uh, so the main things is, um, yeah, maybe consistent style settings. Um, we uh, um, added um, ESLint rules um, and some other small fixes. Um, the future plans for um, this year uh, that we can record the uh, desktop audio, um, we can hopefully blur background, we want to automate um, releases and um, especially bug fixes um, like the, the uh, bug on Safari um, and the reselect camera resource um, and more accessibility improvements. And that's it. As I said, a short, <laughs> quick update. I hope I didn't forget anything. So, some questions? I do have a question, because I like OpenCast Studio a lot. I think it's very powerful and easy to use. Have, uh, have you thought about um, a noise suppressing um, plugin type of thing because I know in OBS the Open Broadcaster Studio um, software there's a I think quite impressive um, noise suppression I think they have two one is really good I it might be a little bit harder on the CPU but I'm not sure um, maybe uh, as a little input or have you gotten into that already because yeah people are using this most of the time I think with their you know laptop mic or something which can be sufficient. 
Yeah, we didn't talk about um, something like this. Um, yeah, let me tell you, <laughs> there um, was actually a bachelor thesis on this topic, um, and there is a working implementation, though it's sadly based on an older version of Studio. Um, we considered uh, uh, updating that basically, and this, um, uh, this uh, guy wrote really interesting tools there. So. He made a bunch of audio post-processing stuff. For example, noise removal with, oh, I forgot the library again, but it's a fairly popular library. There's also compression for those who know what that is in audio terms and some other, oh, you can even um, change some, some, spect some other tools. I don't remember quite well, but this was a really cool project. If anyone is interested in that, we might actually use the code and um, implement that. That would be interesting. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, budget problems. But yeah, so it's an interesting idea. Okay, I have a little one more question. Uh, one thing I don't like uh, about Safari is the problems you, you mentioned as well. But one other thing that I like about Safari is if it works and if I um, save a file in the end, um, it produces uh, an MP4 file. Which I can, you, you know, I can use. I can play it back. I can skip and stuff. I, I, as I understood, it's um, browser dependent. What format will you get in the end? Like most of most of the time, it's WebM. Um, is there any way to have an MP4 regardless of the browser in the end? Because uh, then you could, you know, edit it later in the software or just, you know, do whatever you want. It's, it's more familiar. Has anybody? <laughs> it depends. Um, some browsers do uh, support that, but some just don't. I can uh, show something. I will get up there anyway soon. So, yeah, I will show something regarding that, but uh, not all browsers support MP4. Thanks. Regarding noise cancellation, we are currently experimenting experimenting with RR noise as a step in our workflows and um, when we are ready we will tell you about the results. It's not suitable for every kind of situation but it's do doing a very decent job and um, it's always a question if you want to have it implemented in studio or in opencast. RR noise is right away the library that I was talking about. Okay, thanks. Uh, one more question. Thanks. Um, dark mode seems to be a kind of an important accessibility feature now. I've seen you've implemented it here. Is it also on the roadmap for Tibera as well? Yes. Um, oh. Easy to answer. <laughs> Easy to answer, yeah. 